We left off with Mr. Potato Eye here. Um, so we're going to separate the different layers at this point. I'm going to move over some of these a little bit farther away to give us some room. And now instead of creating some new drawings, what I'm going to do is copy my glasses and I'm going to paste control V and control V a second time to get the two different layers. And now if you remember in a previous tutorial, I have mentioned that when you do control C, control V or copy and paste, it doesn't create a duplicate of that layer. It creates a clone, meaning that the information that I have inside this layer will automatically be updated in these other two layers. Now I'm going to name this upper lid front and I'll have this one called upper lid, uh, lower lid front and I'm going to create a peg for each of these. If you remember control shift P or command shift P will create a peg for each layer that you have selected. I'm going to come and connect these to my composite and to my peg. And if you uh, remember, I have the pivot point information that is in here that is apply embedded pivot on parent peg because I cloned this over to the other two. This information also got copied, but know that if you wanted to go and change it, they are not automatically, these options are not automatically linked. The only thing that gets linked when cloning an element uh, or a drawing node would be the uh, drawing exposition as well as the drawing information that is in there. Meaning if I come and modify this drawing, it will be modified in all of those layers. Now for the glasses, we mentioned that we wanted to keep it on the line art. So I'm going to go into my favorites module or into the node library. You can look up the line art node. I'm going to come and connect this one under the glasses. I'm going to go and get an overlay layer node and connect it under the upper lid. And finally, I'm going to go and get the color art node and separate, separate, separate it here. So now I have the upper lid, lower lid, and the glasses all separated in the same, uh, in using the same drawing layer that I've cloned two times. So now I have three modules that share the same drawing. Now inside my line art, I may want to separate the, uh, the color of my eye with the line that I have uh, inside of my glasses. So what I need to do to separate those two colors, as we've seen in a previous topic, is bring in a color override. So I'm bringing this in. This will be the color override for the uh, line of my glasses. So I'll press enter right here. And I want to make sure also in the render selected colors only that I'll bring in the color of the glasses. You can see that right now I have no information here. You need to connect your color override before you can have access to your palette. So connect it to your line art. I'll click on my layer properties, go on render selected colors only, select my palette. I'll go and select render selected colors. And here I've got glasses frame. I want this to be separated. And then I want the white of my eye to be in a separate layer as well. So I'm going to go and get the color override 
from my node library. I'll create a second one by connecting it to the third port. I'll name this one color override I like that. And I'm going to go into the render selected colors only. Go and get the render selected colors. And from here, I'm going to use the color pupils 2, which is essentially the same color that I've used for my eye. And close. So at this point, I'm going to disconnect the uh, line art from my composite because it's reading the entire art. I want the line to be, uh, the uh, color of my eye to be at the back. I want the line of my glasses to be red on top of everything else. So right now I have just the line. I want to go and get a cutter that will uh, cut my upper eyelid and my lower lid by the color of my eye. Now, instead of going to get two cutters that will cut each piece, um, I am going to get a composite. I want as few connections as possible. So inside of my composite, I want both of these pieces to get cut. So over on the right port. And I want these behind the line. And I want these to get cut by the color of my eye. And as we can see here, I want the opposite of that to happen. So I want uh, the portion of my eyelids to be cut inside of the color of my eye. So I'm going to go into my layer properties, invert my cutter. And now you can see that I have the eyelids cut into the art. So now I have both of my lids invert cut inside the surface of the eye, but I also want the pupil to be invert cut inside that surface. So I want to bring it here in the composite that is already cutting everything within that surface. So now even if I move it around, it's going to stay invert cut in there. Now I have my blink. Not only do I have the drawing substitutions already created, but I can come and move these around if I want to, if I want to create a specific expression without necessarily having to redraw everything, I can do that um, and create a multitude of different expressions. Feel free to create more drawings like these to accommodate any pre-made expressions. At this point, you can go crazy, create blinks, expressions. Don't forget to do your front view and I will see you guys in the next step.